My ski videos used to look like this. But now I film my ski videos like this. You might be wondering, how did I take my videos from looking like a 1990s video your dad took with his big camcorder to something that looks totally professional and like a whole team was following me down the mountain? Well, the answer's right here in my right hand. The Insta360. The second I got my hands on an Insta360 X2 last year, I said sayonara to my GoPro for good and started using the Insta360 as my go-to camera every day on the ski hill. And you know what's even more exciting? Insta360 has come out with a new version of my favorite camera, the Insta360 X3. This thing is absolutely next level and I'm gonna walk you guys through a full review of this camera for skiing and snowboarding, some of the new stuff that's going on with it, some of my favorite mounts and why I honestly think it's the best action camera for skiers and riders looking to take their filmmaking to the next level. So let's get into it. So let's start off with the thing you guys are probably wondering most. Why do I love the Insta360 X3 so much and how does it compare to your traditional action camera? Well, the biggest reasons I love this camera is that you miss none of the action. Long gone are the days of filming with a head cam or filming with a chest cam going off a cliff and having the camera face down and filming your knees and your crotch for the rest of the run and just having to listen to the audio. You can be confident that you're not gonna miss a single thing when you film with the Insta360 X3, no matter which mount you decide to put it on. I absolutely love the creativity this company brings to the table, and they're constantly iterating their mounts and figuring out ways to capture some of the coolest angles I have ever seen. And lastly, I absolutely love the Insta360 Studio app and all of its AI technology. Whether you want to edit on your phone or your computer, Insta360 makes it super easy and super user intuitive to create some amazing, amazing video content. I absolutely love the shot lab on the app, which helps you create physics and film defying content, which is like nothing you've ever seen. You've got the deep track feature, which essentially means you can just drag over the person you're following or drag over yourself and it'll track you and keep everything buttery smooth footage of them skiing down the mountain reframing super easy and you can just click and drag, click and drag, reframe your video super easy. And if you don't wanna do it, the AI can reframe your video for you as well. Insta360 has really, really blown GoPro out of the water with the features of their app and how easy and user intuitive it is. I know a lot of people are hesitant to buy a 360 camera because they're worried about that process, but honestly, once you figure it out, which is super easy to do, it makes your life so easy, especially if you're releasing content off different channels and especially for social media. The battery life of this thing is absolutely fabulous and I find it outlasts my GoPro over and over and over again. I actually have a secondary battery. I've never put it in, nor I've never needed it on a ski day. Whereas when using a GoPro, I need a battery all the time. So they've really, really killed it uh, with these batteries, especially in cold mountain and adverse conditions. So battery life is simply just something you don't have to worry about. And it's such a nice thing when you don't have to, you know, fiddle around with these things in cold mountain conditions. The only nitpicky thing I had about the Insta360 before was the microphone, but I'm finding this new microphone they have on here to be super solid, whether it's on the head or on the pole. Um, the sound quality is pretty darn good. Okay, three, two, one, let's try it, boys. When the wind comes in strong, obviously audio is gonna get muffled, but that's the same across all cameras. <laughs> When the wind isn't too wild, this thing does a really, really great job at capturing the human voice uh, who's skiing. So I'm pretty satisfied overall with the audio. So what's new about the Insta360 X3? Well, there's a couple key things they've changed on this camera, which are super sick. The first is this new touch screen right here. We'll turn this bad boy on. You can play videos, you can drag around like as if you're on your phone and see every angle in 360. 
So it makes it super easy to make sure you're getting the shot that you're looking for when you're in the field. The new touchscreen also makes it super easy to adjust your settings when you're on the hill. You've also got this cue right here that you can see on the side of the screen. This makes it helpful to kind of flip between settings quick when you're in the field. So to like presets, maybe you want to film in me mode, selfie, one run, and then the next run you like filming in 5.7K 360 just makes it super easy to flip through those. That leads us to another new development, which I think is super awesome for the Insta360, and that's the ability to film in 4K single lens modes, which is super nice, especially if you're doing some sort of commentary, vlogging style, or maybe just doing a follow cam with a buddy and uh, you don't wanna have to reframe it when you go home so you can get the highest quality on your single lens mode. That's a sweet upgrade. Another new piece of technology which they've created for this camera, which makes such a huge difference if you film a lot of skiing and riding, it's called Me Mode. Me Mode is such a game changer and saves me so much time when it comes to editing and post-production. So instead of having to reframe each selfie video around myself, it's automatically reframed, saves time, it's higher quality. Now I've walked you through some of the more technical aspects of the Insta360 X3 and some of the things I really love about it, but uh, I think it's time to take this thing to snow and, uh, and do a mount test once again. So I'll see you on the mountain. Hiya! <laughs> no, this isn't a sword for fencing. This is the invisible selfie stick. The Insta360 invisible selfie stick is one of my favorite ways to mount the cam. You can hold it while you're skiing or boarding. You can't see the pole at all, and it gets such a cool view of you while you're riding. The stick's pretty light, never bothers me. It's awesome to use to run. One of my favorites, and it's the absolute classic. I always keep it in my ski jacket pocket. Insta360 took the invisible selfie stick to the next level recently. It's not a baton, no, it's not for whacking things, and it's not a Tenkara fishing rod. This is the three meter invisible selfie stick. This is one of the most epic things that I think Insta360 has made as of recent. It's absolutely insane and gets completely epic drone type shots. It's on the heavier side, so it's harder to use while you're skiing down the mountain, but you can still run it on some more casual runs. Super sick for looking over cliffs, or ridges, or if you're skiing along a ridge, it is so cool and it looks like a drone shot that's way above you. I don't even think the camera can do the length of this any justice. I can walk down the mountain a little bit here. Look at this thing. You probably can't see me. Maybe you can just see the top of my head. This is the height of it. It's three meters high. Absolutely nuts. Literally longer than my longest fishing pole. Look at this. Just look at it. Ridiculous. Three meters of invisible selfie stick force, baby. James, what's in your mouth? That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> this is Insta360's new bite mount. You can mold it to your teeth like a mouth guard if you put it in some boiling water. I haven't done that yet. It gets a super cool angle when it's on your mouth and you can hold it in there. I think it looks kind of cool for jumping off things or for powder, super immersive POV type look. You can put it either way. You can kind of change the angle here depending how you want it. The way that I've liked to do it is kind of just straight out like this. Thought it would look cool. Or you can go kind of down like this. And it gets this kind of super cool immersive shot. The bite mount is pretty cool when it's pretty impractical to ride with all the time, but it's still kind of a fun thing to test out. Why not, right? Maybe good if you're swimming, stuff like that. It's got this neck thing, so you're not gonna lose it if it falls out of your mouth. Makes me create a lot of saliva. You can always put your Insta360 on your head with a normal helmet mount. That's how I run it most of the time and what I really like. But if you want to get a really cool shot, give the unicorn mount a try. This looks insane, but let me tell you, it gets a super cool POV angle. When there's pow splashing your face, it looks awesome. Or when you're ripping downhill in front of you, it also looks awesome. Kind of gets the whole body in the shot. It's a little bit heavy on the goggles, but isn't so bad. You kind of get used to it. Tighten your goggles up, cinch your helmet up. You know, gets the, gets the job done. Look at this funny thing on my back. Looks like something Catwoman would wear, but it's super cool. It holds the camera over your shoulder for a super cool POV angle. You can even double up the amount of kind of rods that you put in here. So if you put two rods, the perspective is super cool over your head. Maybe if you're skiing on a ridge or something like that, something super steep. Straps easily right onto a backpack. It's a super cool mount. I'm absolutely loving it. It's hands-free. Just kind of stays behind you, jiggles behind you, and uh, you don't even notice it, but it gets kind of that full immersive POV, and the higher you make the rod, the cooler it looks. So that's it. 
That's all. If you have any questions about the Insta360, leave them in the comments. I would be happy to answer. If you want some inspiration, check out their Instagram profile at Insta360. They've got some super, super sick stuff on there. And if you want to purchase one, click the link below. It helps a brother out and helps me live the dream and do what I do in the mountains. It's Sayonara for now, but I'll see you soon on the mountains. Stay spicy, my friends. Oh.